Gretchen. Welcome back to my channel. Ha! <sighs> Today's video is kind of sad, kind of the end of an era. One that I've been thinking about for a bit, but I have decided to part ways with one of my Pearsons. I don't know, these types of videos are really hard because like I wanna, I wanna, you know, show the full circle of Pearsons and that they don't have to be forever. I would still say that they're semi-permanent because even when I remove this Pearson, there's gonna be a hole there. It's probably not gonna close up for a while, if ever. It still might be noticeable. There still might be a scar there. But it's one of those things where it's like, you know, you come to a point where you just no longer want it. It no longer brings you happiness, if that makes sense. But recently, my mom and I have been like playing with our Pearsons and we're like, we wanna change out the jewelry because we haven't done that in so long. Like it's been a long time since we've done something different with our jewelry. And recently my mom just decided to get rid of like four of her Pearsons. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And she's like, seriously though, like they cause me discomfort even after all this time. And I just don't really want them anymore. I'm like, you know, there's something to be said for that. So I started thinking about my own and I will say, my facial ones, no plan on ever getting rid of them. I love my facial ones. I even plan on getting my right nostril done this month, actually have an appointment for it. So then this right nostril will be back. Thank goodness, very excited about it. Honestly, been contemplating getting this back, but like getting it done right, so it's not rubbing on my gums. So my facial ones have no plan of ever getting rid of. Conch Pearson, no plan on ever getting rid of. But there are a few that I've just come to terms with the fact that it's the end of the road. And today, the end of the road comes for my flat, which caused me so many problems when we were wearing masks regularly because masks would get stuck on it all the time. It would cause so many problems. I don't know what it is, but I just don't feel connected with this Pearson anymore. I don't know if anyone else experiences that once they decide to get rid of a Pearson or if you ever come to that feeling, but the flat, Pearson is one that I just no longer feel connected with. And so I thought today with you all, I would take it out for the last time. So that's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be a little quick video because th this one's not hard to get out. It's easy to get in and out. So I figured this will be a little quick video, but just like a little update and letting y'all know where I am with that. There are a few others that I'm thinking about getting rid of, but right now the flat Pearson is like the definite one just because it's just there. It's just floating out in its own little space and it just, I don't know, just not happy with it. Or I shouldn't say not happy with it. I'm just not feeling it anymore. But that's me rambling. So let's zoom in, let's take it out. It's literally gonna be like 10 seconds. And just like, there it is. Today we say goodbye to the flat Pearson. Hello, up close and personal. Don't look at my pores too closely. But anyway, for anyone that doesn't know, my flat Pearson is right here. It was also done at a little bit of an angle. Like when I put my fingers on the jewelry, I can feel the angle for it, which is understandable because despite the fact that this area is flat, it's not like completely flat. Like if you look on the backside, it's obviously got some curvature to it. So I don't know, this one, it just doesn't do it for me anymore. So I'm just gonna take out the jewelry. Luckily for me, I have threadless jewelry. So like, ta-da, <laughs> that's it. Uh, super simple. Let's see. I don't know if y'all can actually see the hole there, but it'll be noticeable for a bit. I mean, it's like right out there. So goodbye, flat Pearson. Kind of a weird feeling when you had jewelry that, oh, I could feel the little divot. Kind of weird when you had jewelry there. But, you know, I've gotten rid of a lot of Pearsons recently and you come to terms with it. And it's not saying that I could never get it redone, you know? There it goes, bye. So yeah, super quick, easy Pearson to get rid of. I can now use this earring, I'll clean it and put it in another person that I do want to keep for the moment, though I am contemplating getting rid of it too. Just because that one is connected with people that I no longer connect with, like I got it done with people that I no longer connect with. That might be another video for another time, but for now, the flat Pearson, I don't know, it's its time. Pearsons are great because you can always get it redone if you feel like it. Also for people that might be like, oh my God, I can never part with a Pearson. I still love Pearsons, but like tattoos are my focus now, you know? Like I have every intention to get my hands tattooed this year. So that's just that's just where I'm at currently. Let me know in the comments below if you've gotten rid of any Pearsons recently or just over time, you know, after you've had it for a while, not necessarily because it would never heal or just it kept getting infected. You can include that too if you want, but like those ones that were perfectly fine, but you just fell out of love with and you just didn't want anymore, Leave them in the comments below, like what you're feeling. Cause it's, it's sad to take it out. My little 
my little threadless jewelry here that I'll put in something else. But yeah, it's sad. Part ways with something that you've had for a bit, but here we are. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to go down there and hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so YouTube will let you know when I upload next. But until next time, bye everyone. Mm -hmm.